Yo my people, back again. Finally the vlogs have returned. It's been a long, boring month with no football for Palace and that as well. You know, it's nice to be back. Listen, we haven't played at home since August, late August. We haven't played a game since early September, which is on the third away to Newcastle. We are back. Palace taking on Chelsea. This game should be brilliant. There's always a few goals in that. Hopefully, it'll be more entertaining than recent fixtures last time out. Obviously, in our last 10 games, in all competitions, we've lost to Chelsea in a row. So, it'd be nice if we could just get signed out of this game and get some points off them for the first time in nearly five years in the Premier League as well. So, fingers crossed all goes to plan. I cannot wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe as well. Make sure to check out my Crystal Palace versus Chelsea preview, which was uploaded yesterday. I had a lot to talk about, including my predicted line up and score predictions as well. I'm going to go over 2 one Winter Palace and try to be positive and optimistic going into this fixture, hoping to kick October off with a bang, you know, after a month with no football from the boys in Ren and Blue. The atmosphere will be rocking, I am certain for sure. So come on, you Palace man, let's beat Chelsea. And yes, it's going to be a good one, cannot wait. See you lot at Sales Park. Eagles! <laughs>
Come on, Palace. Daniel Klein's injured, I don't know what it is, he's just gone down bad, I'm not sure what injury it is, like I said. But, yeah, when the stretcher comes out, it's never a good sign. It looks pretty bad. When something's happening there, the away end, Palace and Chelsea fans that may be clashing, or maybe stewards and Chelsea fans, for what I can see here. Chelsea scum doing what they do best, causing trouble. Daniel Klein off. I think Tom Tompkins, Tompkins is coming on, he hasn't played for God knows how long. Blimey. That was soon, Klein. Oh my word. I love you, man. So six minutes out of time, yeah? And we have just done the most bizarre thing ever. A back pass from Joe Ward to Vicente Gaia. Turn away for one minute and I see that. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, it's going to be fun. I haven't seen this in the Premier League for some time, you know? Guys, position's awful here. Hey! Hey! Sign that in that. Half well, time here, it's 1-1, one, one. Chelsea overall probably should be at least 2 or 3 one up with the chances they missed just before half time, including the goal as well. Yeah, it's going to be a mad second half. Question is, are we going to show up? Is Vieira, is Vieira going to make changes? Should Diogo Silva be sent off? I think so, but yeah, a bit of mixed one. So as you can see, I moved in that halfway through um, first half of that. James, what are your thoughts? Oh my God. Um, honestly, I, I got here late, so I didn't get a goal, but here it's good. Um, so what I've seen, we played poor. Should have been a red card. Yeah, to the obvious, the goal, so definitely. VAR's had a shock with that checking club badge. Um, hey, the ref out of ten. Ref out of ten. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, minus one. Minus one. Agreed. Yeah, I mean, we've got to really just go for them a bit more. It's a bit too deep, naive. I don't know defensively. I just I've got no confidence within us right now whatsoever. I just saw a sign of the Diogo Silva handball on someone's throat and he handled the ball. I don't understand VAR. Oh man, it's a mess off, it's a joke. Premiership right now, the way it's being managed in some aspects is poor, so yeah, it's got to change, it's got to change. But still got the second half, I don't know what to expect, but I'm not really that optimistic. I hope we can just give it a good shot and try and attack more and get a goal. Come on the planet. The ball. I don't know, standing, Get around, here, standing here. around, not really doing much. It's all flat. It's like a library right now, apart from the Chelsea fans singing, but we look a bit lost. We need some substitutions. Mate oh, Referee, yeah. oh, come on. I think Mateta on. Edouard's been sloppy recently. At least he's not going into the game. Eze's disappeared on Wolf. It's like the only player that could catch Chelsea out on the counter attack. So, yeah, a bit worried. I don't know, but Chelsea haven't really been that good. Come on, Elise, be smart, man. Get in that box. Save from Kepa. The tight angle there for Zaha. Unlucky though. Good bit of move between him and Elise. Something we needed to liven the ground up. Palace! Jose going off here. He's done all right, I suppose. Has to be there the best game, but he's done well always. Hey. Come on, Schlepp. Fair performance there. Come on. Aubameyang and Havertz are coming off for Gallagher and Broja. Sterling looks like he's going as a winger for Chelsea. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh comes Gallagher. Going off. Down another ovation from some Palestine. Kurene's right off Mateta and Will use on and Mount coming off of Pulisic but he better not score against us Conor Gallagher is just oh boy oh boy oh boy I've got no words no words no words no words I'm just I'm done just same thing man same thing same thing Flat right now, I'm fuming inside, but I'm just more deflated 
than anything to allow Conor Gallagher to score late on at the last minute to win it for Chelsea is an absolute killer. It's a heartbreaker. Do you know what I mean? It was a brilliant goal, by the way. Fair play to him for not celebrating, but it was just not good enough from Palace. Late goal conceded again. This mentality thing of us conceded a late goal. It's just it's getting to us and costing us games big time. Defensively, we're not good enough. The substitutions were poor. Gabriel Vieira got it wrong and it cost us the game. Now, why are you taking this off for Schlup? Schlup was absolutely poor, I thought. There were some players, like Edouard scored his goal, disappeared. So I didn't really have the best of games, at least it was poor. Mateta really didn't really do much. Yes, he came on there as a sub, but I mean, it's just not, it just wasn't our day, it wasn't our luck. The referee was poor, but we can't use that as an excuse. You know, individual defensive errors at times, you know, the marking, the closing down for the Gallagher goal is awful. You know, to allow him that space and time, where do you think the ball was going to end up? As soon as he got that ball, was about to shoot, I knew where the ball was going. We were just waiting for Chelsea to score, really, you know, it's just written in the scripts, you know what I mean? It was just poor. Typical Palace, because he's stunning late goals, late goals in general, you know. We play games like this season, like, I don't know, Liverpool away, Man City away, Brentford at home, and now Chelsea at home. And we led, and we still lost. Really frustrated as well. Like, we've got two games coming up, Leeds and Leicester, two final games. If we don't win any one of them games, I'm going to be absolutely losing it, and I'm going to be fuming, and the fans will turn on Vieira and the team, and the pressure will mount. And, yeah, I mean, the reality is for us, we're not as good as we think we are. We're not going to get Europe. Right now, it doesn't even look like this team's capable of getting top 10, if anything. If we don't pick our form up and start winning games, we'll be in a relegation battle. I mean, that's like our 11th consecutive defeat in all competitions to Chelsea over the last five years. Awful, man. Really poor. We were just naive in that as well. It was just weak from Palace. And Vieira, with his substitutions and tactically, got it wrong at times as well. So... Yeah, look, I'm, I don't really want to say no more. I'm just really, I just sort of had no words when I got like a goal went in. Um, I don't even know if he's going to come to Palace. He looks like he's going to hit form for Chelsea right now. So, yeah, it's just really, it's a, it's a tough one to take. But yeah, I'm going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed the vlog as best as you can, despite the Gallagher like winner. I'm sure the Chelsea fans probably did, you know what I mean? But like, share, subscribe. Socials, links, which are down below. And I'll see you on my next video, my people.